lonely. Really? Yeah. Alright, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, you want to begin by giving all praises to Yahweh. Basham Yahushai. Basham Kakodash. We want to give double honors, double to the apostles and the Lazar Great Millstone. Who do good well. Peace, blessing to the Sensei Akim. Many the elect virgins who push this truth on the four corners of the earth, giving diligence to make the cool and election sure. Is two brothers, two cup, so a couple brothers from Great Millstone, Trinidad, God, and here. To the spirit and power, Yahweh, Shem Yahushai, to bring forth another lesson to the spirit. And to my right, my brother, I'm one, and myself, one, huh? And you know, I saw a news article, and me and my brother was conversing on it, and uh, I see we are bringing it out in a lesson to the spirit. So, you know, without further ado, I will just read as we have, right? Because what happened was um, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, the president of America, went to Saudi Arabia and asked if they could have um, you know increased the oil production and they told him they can't right well it actually had a video but I'll just read the, the description in a nutshell of what happened because what happened is everything going according to the plan of the Heavenly Father which America Babylon aka the Great is doing which you don't know all right so I'll just go into it you see anything yeah, it says um it says recently with the wanton behavior of the United States you know and the scripture also talk about the wantonness of our people you know like seeing everything and the want 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 yeah undisciplined Can't. no wanton they're undisciplined now yeah. that, as they say that seen and they just want 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 they know how to balance yourself and yeah like when I want a wanton eyes she eyes on discipline. She just wants you watching you. This next man, she with you. She watching the next man and the next man and the next man. She not disciplined. And like these states, they're undisciplined. Yeah. It says, recently, with the wanton behavior of the United States, the world has entreated a crisis situation in order to be able to stabilize their position after the Russia-Ukraine conflict broke out. And Russia, being the country that they are, is a large country when it comes to doing wheat and flour and also to chemicals that bring forth plants. There's one of the largest suppliers for like salt, you know, different kind of salts, 12, 12, 24, urea, you name it. So they, they have a big play in, in holding up the economy. If a lot of people don't know, you can go and do your little research on your own, right? So he says, um, it says the United States not only aided Ukraine's weapons and equipment on the battlefield but also depleted Russia's national strength through physical means. It also started war with Russia in the energy field intending to force the decoupling of the Europe and Russia energy sources and suppress energy price. Weakening the Russia economy, however, it seems that the energy war launched by the United States against Russia has temporarily failed. And we can go back into the little times what happened when, when Russia was coming down on Ukraine. Because as I could explain with the Ukraine, why why the whole war start? Um, um go ahead, go ahead. Um, with, with, why the whole war start with the Ukraine? Basically, for the state, well. In NATO scene, that, that big trigger man, that um, the United States wanted to, uh, what is it we're looking for? Annex. To annex our country, meaning it, make it join on to you. Um, to annex Ukraine. So they wanted Ukraine to join NATO. Right? Because when NATO, really, when NATO is NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which was formed in 1949 to combat the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was a culmination of a lot of different um, countries on the side of Russia. So you had uh, Russia, and then you had different countries. I can't remember the countries right now, word for word. I don't think, I think Hungary. I think Hungary. I know if Hungary was 
we're not doing it. Our internet, that is bad. Can't really look it up right now because we're in transit. But, um, Soviet Union, I know, I believe, I think Ukraine has joined on to them. I believe so. And yeah, we were, Ukraine was part because Ukraine, Ukraine was part. independence to Russia. Right. And then they had a lot of different countries. Croatia, I think, was, I know if them was there. They had a, a lot of countries on the side where Russia is. I want to say it and I know it, it would uh, move forward. But that was the Soviet Union. And um, Ukraine was, is, well, they Russia, they Russia. Russia had Ukraine, right? So I believe it was in 1991 when the Soviet Union got dismantled. Um, America never even dismantled NATO, and America started to go and take countries that was around Russia and bring them into NATO. And the one Ukraine also to join with NATO and Russia say no you cannot go with NATO. You cannot go with NATO and the talk was only coming up that um Russia America only want NATO only want um Ukraine. Russia say you cannot go with NATO. If you go with NATO you're going to have a war with all a war yeah. and that is where the war but amongst other things you know, but that is one of the key factors why the war break out between Russia and Ukraine. Yeah. And and what, what was happening with when this was taking place, America started laying sanctions on Russia. Mm-hmm. Which was a dumb move because Russia don't really need anything from America. Can. America right now technically is a, a, a dependent country because they themselves cut off the large farming products. Yeah. The, the the oil reserves is imported, right? They don't dig for that. So everything they put itself within a, a pit, they put itself in a hole, which you don't know. Yeah. But Russia, on the other hand, supplying their own self for their own needs. So he says, it says, um, it says United States against Russia has temporarily failed. Biden visited Saudi Saudi Arabia in person and persuaded increase its oil production capacity. As a result, Saudi Arabia contempt. So that they say now nah, we, we we unable to do that. Mm. Because what happening right now is, is actually fulfillment of the scriptures. You know, we will go there in a bit. You know, it, it didn't have much more. We just read it out and we will go to the scripture to show the proof, right? That America, aka Babylon, is being set up for the fall. Right? It says it says a result, Saudi Arabia contempt. Biden with with personal actions after Russia gained good news in the energy field, the Russian army also began to prepare counterattacks on the Ukraine battlefield. Ironically, after actively responding to the request of the United States to sanction Russia, Europe is now facing a severe energy crisis. However, now Europe has also reacted at present. All countries in the world have formed an alliance against the United States. So what exactly happened? So as this trip we just read here, America technically put itself in between a rock and a hard place. Because Europe being the bottomless pit of the scriptures, Revelation 20, right? They do have any energy sector where they dig for minerals in the earth. The land not so rich to bring forth large agricultures so they have to import it and who was the biggest the biggest supporter of being important stuff is is you is russia hence the reason why the the cost of living gets so high over there in, in europe and even in america because that's that that main supply being cut okay. so let's go and go into this prescription now the revelation chapter 17 and verses 16 it says and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire yeah and the ten horns is um the kingdoms the, the countries what 
join up with the US in the NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and also the European Union, which basically the countries were in NATO in the EU. Plenty of them, minus the United States and Canada. Because US and Canada are not in EU because they are not from Europe. So they have the NATO, which the same countries were in NATO, is basically the same countries in the EU. But the EU do have the United States and Canada. And them countries, some of them countries, some of the main countries is who? Spain, you have England, which England leave the EU, but it's still in NATO. Right? The, Euro, the, the Brexit, that was England leaving the European Union, but it's still in NATO. So you have Spain, you have England, you have Germany, France, Italy, um, Netherlands, um, and plus America, and next some um, Soviet Union countries. Um, I believe Croatia is one. I believe them was in, I can't remember if them was in the Soviet Union. Um, but the next so the, the Croatia they were in the, with them in the NATO, Lithuania in the NATO. I believe all them. I believe Lithuania was in the Soviet Union. I can look it up and I got it in the description of you know I, I was off far off Slovakia. But all of them, all of them, when you say they go hate the whole. Says so, on. Yeah, good. Yeah. Says Revelation seventeen sixteen, and the ten horns which thou sowest upon the beast, they shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Yeah, because within them horns, America is a nuclear power. But somebody, somebody horns, right? Somebody, somebody kick nations because it's not just ten; it it, it, it multiply, right? It increased. It started off with ten, but majority of them ten is nuclear power houses, like the Germans. They are nuclear power. England are nuclear power. Um, we are again, buddy. Turkey. Mm -hmm. Turkey is also a part of NATO. Them is a nuclear power. Um, France. All of them go eventually turn and hate America. Uh. They, will, they will turn on she and burn she, destroy she. They will destroy she because of the wicked dealings that she dealing on the earth. Mm. Because something America had to do, they go and do something, some fuck up, fuck up thing to them nations that are in league with and they go and have to say now, boy. All of you had to come together and destroy this place, boy. This place, this place wicked, boy. Uh. Something they go and do. Alright, so you will see if the, if this is it, we will see if this is the build, the build up to it. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know, we still had to wait on the, the microchip to be put mandate, made mandatory. Nah, I know, but today, why, but that way. Yeah, yeah. And, and as the brother was now going into it, the, the doing things to bring forth it because. If I could read the next verse, it says, verse 17, it says, For power had put it in their hearts to fulfill his will. Yeah, anything there, you could give my fire at least. Yeah. Give it, no? No, let me do on that side. I'm going to make glass on that. Yes, yeah, sir, you better. 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 Yeah, so as the brother was now going into it, some some fuck up thing America going to do to ultimately bring it to that. But you know we waiting for the the C to the H to the I to the P to be made mandatory okay. before this actually kick out in that in that on that level. Yeah. It says for for seventeen. It says for power had put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree. And to give the kingdom unto the peace until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. And that's what we see because the actions they're taking, you know, is causing havoc with the nations. Okay. So there's um Obadiah, Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, 
that says in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So who gonna bring you down? Firstly, it is the heavenly Father and His Son, all right, and the embodiment of angels, but also the Lord have something we call the armory. And these nations, as your brother is now going into, the brother is now going into, these is the nations, all right, who have the nuclear capability to bring you down. The ones who in alliances with you, they're going to bring you down. That scripture I want to take bring you real quick. This one Jeremiah, in Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 25. And it reads, it says, The Lord, Yahweh Shimon had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of Yahweh Shimon of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Yeah. The weapons of his indignation is the missiles are in. And that's what going on take place. Them missiles going on burn up Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is America. He does always be saying that. And it's the truth. You understand? And them missiles, the Lord have the missiles for the United States of America. All them missiles being made is to shoot off majority of them in that land. Because some going on, others going to be shut off in other, other parts of the world as well. Because Israel, Israel going and get some as well. Mm -hmm. Right? It's going to other countries in the world that will get that will get some. But the majority of it going and go in the United States of America. Okay. The land of the Chaldeans. Alright? Verse 26 it says, Come again, sir, from the uttermost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Hmm. Huh. And and with these with these with these nations are these nations the Europe right there on the way the Eastern Hemisphere mm -hmm. and the scriptures say from from the uttermost border mm -hmm. you know so you're gonna come where where Russia located on the Eastern Hemisphere mm -hmm. so these missiles going to come from the uttermost parts of the world to hit you America huh. because those citizens your heart is citizens as a god huh. and with the, with, the, with, the, with the founder, the one who said um, I am become the destroyer of worlds, the German Oppenheimer, is his name? Oppenheimer, Isaiah 54 and verse 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bend it forth, so like, and that bring it forth an instrument for his work, and I have created. The waste to destroy. Mm -hmm. Can't. Yeah, they, they waste that to destroy. Yeah, the missiles on them. Got that quote where he take, I think he get out from the bag of one guitar. Yeah. Get out from the bag of one guitar and become dead, the destroyer of worlds. That was after Hiroshima and Arasaki, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when he when when he see the destruction of that, what that did. See, I become dead, the destroyer of worlds. He take that quote from them. That was a Edomite. And um, that is the way it started to destroy. That, that is you know, that technology from then. As a real that technology advanced greatly. Because back then, that was in the 50s. Right? Early, early fort, in the 40s, early 50s, somewhere there. That technology back then, late 40s, early 50s. Just like the TV, the radio, all these things advanced. Okay. Motor cars, all these things advanced. It's the same thing with weaponry, it advanced. So that atomic bomb advanced that nuclear bomb. Hmm. So it, it way, way more deadly. Okay. And, and just to add to what you're saying, it advanced to the point where the nuclear bomb is going to come in as a thief through the windows. Because mm -hmm. um, they have the um, Poseidon. They have Russia have a missile called Poseidon, the one that travels under the water. But it travels so slow until it reaches its target that your radar would be unable to pick it up. Hmm. That is technology advanced. Mm -hmm. They didn't have that back then in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Mm -hmm. You know, the 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 um the avant-garde, right? And when you go into avant-garde, right, it goes into um, the advanced guard. 
Hmm. And it also goes into pioneer. When you look it up on the online etymology, and a pioneer is is somebody who does come up with great great thinking or great great technology. God. And that is that is that is ultimately at the hands of the Mosai. And this is the name of the missile, all right, that Russia has. We'll just say the hypersonic, which could deflect through the air and all these different things. So all the things you're doing right now, America is to your is your is to your fault. Hmm. It's to your fault. Right. And there is, there is just the prophecy being fulfilled. You know, very soon, we know very soon they're going to make the C to the H to the IP mandatory because of how the, the, the crisis and the, the situation that the place is in right now. Mm-hmm. It has no coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is it. This is the end of your world. And a big sign that this is the end of your world, the prophets on the highways and the buyers. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we get the apostles. And all these other camps too, you know, these other camps they are the part of play. I mean, they might be teaching the hundred percent truth, but looking at the bigger picture, the fact they know the Israelites mm -hmm. and they know Babylon is America and all of these things. Some of them will be going off and whatnot, but the bigger picture, they know the Israelites. So we represent. It's just it's just it, it, it go more than knowing that is an Israelite. Um, it goes to the, the, the breath, which is what beginning with the apostles we have. Alright? Um, we represent the end of your world. We, we also is a part of the end of your world. We've got the Lord our. Like Isaiah, the 13th chapter. And, and the first verse, yeah. You know. There is Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 1. It says, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Uh -huh. It says, Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain mm -hmm. exalt the voice unto them shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles um, well, i have commanded my sanctified ones right to the lord to call an elders army sanctified ones that is the prophets um, the ones we cleansed so as i say we also is a part of the end of esau's world beginning with the apostles and them mm -hmm. right Look at this adage, this is um, Psalm 68, the Lord give the word, great with the company of those that publish it. Okay. He says, I have commanded my sanctified ones, I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger. Like the angels. Good. He says, even them that rejoice in my highness, Good. the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts must to select the Lord of hosts. Selakia. The, yeah, the, the host, host the Lord of, of hosts. Must the, the host, host of, of the, the battle. battle. Go ahead. Yeah, it says they came from a far country. And is he next army? Go ahead. From the end of heaven, even the Lord Yahweh Shemia Oshai and the weapons of his indignation. To destroy the whole land. Like the next one, the three parts. The sanctified ones, the mighty ones. And this is the next one, the one who come from a far country. Hmm. The weapons of his indignation. That is the next part of here. Representing the end of the world. You either might or you thought that you made missiles for other purposes. Don't you have one purpose you made the missiles for? You make that for no other purpose hmm. but to destroy. Babylon the Great. That That's was right. the main, that was the only purpose. That's right. You thought in your mind while you was making it, hey, that will give me unlimited amount of power. So that when I talk to a nation, and I, uh, he know that I am a nuclear power, he would fucking pat down. <laughs> that is the reason why you, you, you launched it on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To make them know, to make the world know that anybody who dare violate, this is what could happen to you. Uh, sun, but and then it, it, it speedily increase that um, the, the production of that technology and it advance it, thinking it's for other purposes. But the main book, the only purpose that was for was to destroy Babylon the Great, right? the only reason you made that. And that is the reason why in Isaiah 14, I believe it's 21, it says, Um, um, Abdul become weak as us because these are the nations also receive that capability. Mm -hmm. 
continue and it says verse 7 it's still like verse 6 it says holy for the day of the lord is at hand. it shall come as a destruction from the almighty therefore shall all the hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt and they shall be afraid pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them they shall be in pain as a woman that reveal it they shall be amazed one at another their faces shall be as flames you must as when it detonated your faces as flames fire you're burning alive and that you were going on going with everybody who left in america when them chariots come and then get taken up God. every single human being left there that you were going on going with them so right. verse 9 it says behold the day of the lord the Shai, cometh cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it speaks for itself. Come. Mm -hmm. Come. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more there. No, we'll continue. Now you can hold up there. Yeah. Yeah, you can do the work. Alright, come on. So that yeah, you close off. Now you're going now. Yeah, that and hopefully when I define. Till next time we give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Akakodash. Double and see the apostles and elders again of great millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings again to the elect. Till the next time, Shalom and hopefully be edified. Shalom.